All right, guys, wife and I traveled down to the Finger Lakes. We are here at the famous Lake Cayuga. I've never been here before. I did go on the water for like an hour the other night. It was really, really windy. I grabbed around. It's like 400 and something foot deep in the middle. I looked for boulders. I didn't find any. There's some grass on the shallow flats or anything less than 15, 20 foot, you got grass. I did find a massive cool yellow perch and caught the crap out of yellow perch. My wife and I ate them for dinner. Um, but I haven't got to bass fish this much. I know it's got great small mouth, great large mouth. But from the looks of it, I'd say it's pretty tricky and it's blowing like 20 something mile an hour out there and the waves are enormous. So probably gonna be a challenging day on the water. Hopefully the audio is not too bad with wind and hopefully I find some fish. But either way, let's go check out Lake Cayuga for the first time and uh, let's go fishing. There's like 5 million fish down here in 50 foot of water. Saw these the other day too. I think there might be trout. I'm going to try to catch them. That don't work. We're going large mouth fish. Oh my god. They're giant yellow perch. They're giant yellow perch. I didn't realize. I thought maybe they were trout, but I think they're giant yellow perch. make a meal and you can put your thumb in your mouth and lip them you don't have to clean see i cleaned 19 of them the other night miranda ate, miranda and i ate all 19 but these i only got to clean about 10 of these <laughs> i came out here bass fishing but i'm just fun fishing today baby these big yellow birds are not only fun, they are delicious. Man, they're a pretty fish. Beautiful fish. They flare their fins up like this. Look at that critter. He has eight. number 11 it's probably the biggest one I've caught and uh, you know when the Lord offers you a free delicious meal go ahead and take him up on it and that's what, that's what I did they're so deep their bellies are coming out of their throat uh, so they're gonna die anyway so it's good for me to just take them home and eat them yay all right we got a nice messy yellow perch uh, we got some clouds moving in let's go try to catch some largemouth Huh. I thought I finally got a bass, and I got like the most giant bluegill ever. I just peed on you. Well, it's not what I expected, but you know what? I'm eating yellow perch, and bluegill is really good too, so we'll eat that one too. <laughs> he messed up, made the wrong crankbait. All right, we went down to 10 pound line on our fat free shad. See if we can get it down there and touch that grass 15 foot. So, but uh, I'm really proud for my best buddy here, Tim. He sacked him up today, and I'm, uh, I'm uh, really happy for him, regardless of what happens to me. I want to thank Napa Auto Parts, and I also want to thank the, the hospitality of the town here, all the people. I fished close to the bank all week, and people would come out of their houses and come down and talk to me. And I, I thought a lot of times they were running down there to, uh, some of them were pretty quick to run me off, and every one of them just wanted to talk to me and tell me where to fish. So, uh, I, I, I really Everybody's we got finally a got a bass right? here. And plus it's Chad Aaron. Who's not going to come out and talk to Chad Aaron? That's right, that's right. We do. Uh, I really appreciate it. We got a bass. <laughs> and he's really strong. Oh, it's a big bass. There we go, guys. 
Check that out. So we made an adjustment there. We went to 10 pound line uh, on this fat free shad. The old bomber fat free shad. These are some new colors and some uh, new designs in them. They throw a lot better, but they run so true. Look at that. That's a good old four pounder right there. There we go. It's a four and a half, five pounder right there. The hop skipping the jump down to Kissimmee and Toho. You know that lake, so I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good job. Put your hands together one more time. Justin Kimmel and his 95 fans. Bye bye. He about threw that fat free shed all in my hand. Hey, catching the right species now. Catching some bass on the old fat free shed. If you guys know me well, you know I don't deep crank very much. It's just not something that I've done a whole lot of. I don't thoroughly enjoy it. But I might enjoy it now with this fat free shed. Can you tell you what? Aaron Rodgers doesn't even get that many cheers. Gary Atkins. Looks like he's tired. There he is. Gary Atkins. No, you're good. 41 pounds and 11 ounces on the first two days. There's the boom right there. You're smally, man. Rary Atkins right there. He knows how to fish him on these big waters. Forty-one pounds, eleven ounces. He's got five in the bag today. Taylor Walker. <laughs> got a way in going. And got this cloud cover. We go ahead and got many bites. Since cloud cover come in, but uh, I circled back around and found some of this better grass, and uh, we got another one on the fat free shed here. We can give him oh, pretty good fish. I've been catching small now, and uh, the large mouths are a lot easier to land than the small mouth. So that's awesome. It's good for me to get back into largemouth mode. I'm about to head south and fish the Red River for largemouth. So that's not as big as the last one. That's probably a, I don't know, three and a half, four pounder. Um, again, check out that new bomber fat free shed. I went, I, again, I went to 10 pound line and uh, had to get it down there deeper. And that's all it took. I had one rigged up on 20, I had one rigged up on 17, 15, went down to 10. And I haven't weighed any of these, but that one I caught a minute ago was a lot bigger than this one. Let's see what that one weighs. Okay, so that's a 382. That other one probably was a five pounder. Pretty fish. Let's see if we can get another one. They enjoyed watching you on there. I'm sure you got a lot of texts from yesterday and today and all that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. Go grab those fish. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that rock bass. Holy crap. That's a giant rock bass. Boy, I've been, I'm eating some fish. He smells pretty good. We're going to eat that too. Coming. Alright, I don't have the camera waterproof, so I gotta put you up for a little bit. Okay, quit raining, but uh it's probably not done. So tell you what, we better just call it quits. It's getting low light. But check out the new bomber fat free shad. This one uh 
I don't even know what color they call that. Kind of a, I would call it like a purple gizzard shad. I'm sure it's got a cool name to it. Also, check out the new Kistler Chromium reel. This is my first time to really put it to work. You can see the word chromium there on it. Uh, real testament to a bait caster if you get out there and grind on some deep cranking. And so far, this thing is able to bomb it a long way. It handled those fish really well. Uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon, uh, 7.2 KLX feeling reel. Just out here deep cranking some deep grass. And uh, finally figured out a way to catch a bass today. I got a mess of fish I got to clean in there. And uh, had fun. I hope you guys liked today's video. A little bit of everything. I got yellow perch, bluegill, rock bass, and we caught some largemouth. But anyway, click like, click subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.